Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today is going to be the first installment of my Las Vegas Hot Palooza. I'm um, going to have quite a few videos of some haulage that I did while I was in Vegas for a vacation where we were celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary, also celebrating the 4th of July. So I thought I would start off the whole week with um, the cosmetic portion of the haul. And I have quite a bit here. So I'll start off with what I purchased in Sephora. And I didn't get very much at Sephora, so um, nothing too exciting. But I went in and I had been at the um the tory birch store at the fashion show mall anyway and i smelt this perfume and i really did like it so i bought the roller size um of it just to try it out because this this happens to me a lot and i don't know if it happens to you i'll Get a perfume i think i absolutely love it you know i'll put it on in the store i'll wear it for the day i just you know love it love it love it and then i'll buy the full bottle and then i'll get it and i'll start wearing it and after a few days i'm like oh, i don't know why i bought this i don't like it so anyway i thought i'd just get the little roller ball but anyway it's tori birch just like heaven so i got to that and like i said it's just a little roller ball if you like a floral um, perfume i think you would like this i smell gardenia in it um, the, none of the notes that are listed um, say gardenia they say um, magnolia which i love the smell of magnolia too so that may be what i'm smelling um, i one review said that they smelt honeysuckle even though there's no honeysuckle in it i can get one they would smell honeysuckle in it so you get what i'm saying it's definitely a a floral a white floral type perfume and just smells good so anyway got that and the full size of this not the biggest bottle but the next size down from the biggest bottle is still like over a hundred dollars so it's still expensive and then she threw in the bag a sample of the moroccan oil Florida Rose conditioner. So I have a little sample of that. Let's do a little sniff of it. I did not smell this. This and this I purchased at the um, Sephora in Caesar's Palace. It is a really big Sephora and it's very, very well maintained. Hmm, that does smell good. But look at this little bitty bit. I mean, how am I, how am I supposed to try that in my hair? <laughs> that's not even enough conditioner for my sugar glider <laughs> let alone this monster on my head and then um it just so happens that i forgot to pack some shampoo and conditioner and las vegas is very 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 drying so i picked up a 500 point perk from um alterna it's the caviar anti-aging Discovery, two times the more volume. So I thought I would try this with the conditioner, the shampoo. I know I like this um, volumizing mist and I know I liked the little CC cream. So I thought, well, I'll just get that and worked out good for me. So that was what I got at Sephora. So the rest of this ginormous pile I have here in front of me is from the, um, the company Cos Cosmetic the cosmetic company outlet store the cco i'll get it out anyway it's just a store that is located at outlet malls and they carry um, bobby brown clinique smashbox mac estee lauder um, tom ford origins and i know there's there's a lot more that they carry other than that but um they were doing a sale where you got 50% off of your purchase and it did exclude some lines, one of them being Tom Ford, but Tom Ford um, was 20% was off. So if you're not familiar with the CCO, um, it is basically like overstock, 
merchandise um, and it could be this season's merchandise. It's just um, the way the lady explained to me at one point was that um, all the department stores go in and place their orders first and then whatever's left then the CCOs can go in and order. And then they automatically mark it down like 20 to 30 percent off of retail and then they do these sales where you get additional percentage off so got some really good good deals um i think i picked up two things from tom ford like i said the tom ford was 20 percent off but that was okay because like the Tom Ford um, eye color duo, the duos I think are around 60 something dollars. This was 42 and then I got additional 20% off. So got the eye color duo in the color, um, blah. Ah, oh, my glasses are over there. <laughs> Hang on, let me get my glasses. Yeah. Okay, the duo in AW16, all 16, AW16 is what it says. It's number four, AW16 is the name of it. Anyway, and it is a Tom Ford. I um, mean, these are products that are, they're not damaged. They are in 100% sellable condition that you would see in the department store. So I got to that. I don't know, do y'all want me to do swatches? I'm still kind of, um, Jacking around with my um, focus here. I mean, you would think after all these years of doing videos, I would know how to get my camera to focus. But you take off for a few weeks or a month, as in my case, and you forget how to focus anything. You forget how to swatch. You forget how to talk. <laughs> you forget everything. So anyway. And then the other Tom Ford item that I purchased was a cream eyeshadow. Here it is. And this is the... Um, The cream color for eyes in Midnight Violet number seven, and this was $31.50 and then an additional 20% off. I'm not for sure how much these are at the store, 48, I think. I think, anyway, where did it go? I took everything out of the boxes, so it would save us a little bit of time here. And this is what it looks like here, just so pretty. Oh my goodness. And um, I use my <laughs> I use my computer monitor computer for my monitor because I can't see the monitor up there on the on the um, the camera the viewfinder but everything is backwards on the computer <laughs> so I was just getting to where I had it down really good and now I'd, I can't remember how to do it but there it is <laughs> that's why I'm laughing I, I it's going to be like a total shit show isn't it Anyway, there it is. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Can y'all see that? Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's really pretty. So, I did get that. And then, everything else I'm gonna show you, I got an additional 50% off. So, it was really good. And I got a lot of good stuff. Okay, let me get a wipe now. So, let's do, let's do MAC. I think I only purchased two things from MAC. Anyway, when I packed, um, I had been really, really liking my MAC Times 9 eyeshadow palettes. I have, I think I have all of them, or at least I thought I had all of them until I came across this little guy at the outlet mall, and I thought, yowza, I don't have that. Look at all those bright colors. It's a pretty yellow and a green and a blue. This is the, um, Times the Mac Times Nine Tropical Cool, and the reason why it's called Times Nine is because it has nine eyeshadows, and the eyeshadows are about the size of a dime, dime size. But I'm telling you, these guys are so much are so pigmented, and they blend so nicely, and oh, they just work really well. And you sometimes Mac eyeshadows, especially in like their palettes kind of like this are kind of hit or miss. But I feel like the times nine, all of them that I have, and I have several, I don't know how many I have, six maybe, I think have had 
wonderful um, workability to them, pigmented, good payoff, not dry. Anyway, I just, I like them. So that's why I took all of the ones that I had to Vegas with me. And I ended up probably only using two palettes, two different palettes each day to create my looks. Yeah, my husband, he looked at my suitcase when we checked my suitcase at the airport when we left, my suitcase was at 48 pounds. And his was like at 38. But I had packed a suitcase in a suitcase. So I had an extra suitcase to put all of my shopping stuff in. Which was a good thing because coming back I was almost, almost overweight. Almost. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so that was what I got for MAC, and then I got this eyeshadow. I was at the checkouts, and she was ringing everything up, and this was sitting up there, and just caught my eye, this really pretty pink. If you've seen and watched my Where Have I Been video, and I'll put a card up here on that, I had this on as my eyeshadow, and I had it on as my blush. And it's just a really, really pretty pink. Can't go wrong with a really pretty pink eyeshadow. Pinks are so tricky with eyeshadow though because sometimes they can really pull um, red and make the eye look really bad. But I thought this was very nice especially since I blended it and put a lot of um, chocolate brown with it also and it just turned out really pretty. Let me tell you what the color of this is and this is the um, Magic Dust Eyeshadow in, what the heck, Rabble Rouser? Rabble Rouser, and I, I have no idea what the collection is that this came from, I don't know. The price on this was $14, so then I got additional 50% off, so it ended up being seven. The Times 9 palette was $24, and then the additional 50% off was $12. So a MAC eyeshadow for $12 eyeshadow palette was really, really well. Good, good. It was a good buy. Even though I didn't need it, it was a good buy. Okay, let's go. Let's go into the world of Clinique. And I have some... Clinique items that um, added to my cheek pop and eye pop collection. One being this one here, and this is the Clinique um, eye pop or lid pop, and this is in um, cream pop. It's one that I didn't have in my collection. And if you're wondering how I knew what I needed and didn't need, I have a little bitty notebook that I carry with me that has just about my whole entire um, makeup collection listed in it. Yeah. And I, the night before we left, I went through and made sure it was all updated. It probably took me an hour, if not longer, <laughs> to do that. There it is right there. Isn't that pretty? I just love Clinique. Um, Clinique was my very first prestige brand of cosmetic and skincare to use. And I just, there's still Clinique products in my skincare regime that I use every single day. So um, it's just a good, a good standby. And um, it's very nice. It's good for someone that's starting out to wear makeup because all the colors are very soft and it's good for someone that's getting to be you know, my age that needs to have the soft, the softness because of the fact that we're getting so many lines and wrinkles that we need all the help that we can get to soften the appearance of our aging face. But the next one I got is Willow Pop. And this one, uh, my last, CCO haul that I had done. I really wanted this one. They had it on display and then they were out. So, but it's just a really, really pretty moss green. I love wearing green on my eyes right there. 
It's very, very pretty. So got those two eyeshadows and then I got a blush that I didn't have in the Clinique Pop line and this is the Cheek Pop and this one is in Cola Pop. Now this one is definitely, in my opinion, something to be worn in the fall. But look at that. That is going to be so pretty. And of course, this has been around for a while. I just never, never got it. You know what? That'd be a pretty eyeshadow too. Hmm. For fall. Ooh, with this green. Yeah, look at that. You would definitely have to be very light-handed with that blush. Like maybe a stippling brush would probably work really well with that. But anyway, just so pretty. So that's what I got from Clinique. So now let's go into the, oh no, wait, 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 hold the phone. I have another Clinique item and this is the All About Shadow 8 Pan Shadow Palette in the color. Oh, and those, um, the blush pop was um, $16.50 and, or it was $8.50 was the price on it. And then the eyeshadows were $13, so I got half off of that, so that made them $6.50. Here's the eyeshadow palette that I got, and this is in Neutral Territory number two. And this is what I was talking about, how Clinique just really has very soft um, eyeshadows um, that you can just create a very soft look. It's perfect um, for the young girl that's starting out wearing makeup for... Um, maybe you have a work environment that requires to have a subtle makeup look. This would be perfect for that. Even, like I said, so on my age, that just needs to really soften up the face as much as possible. And, but still has lots of pigmentation. And it's not mediocre at all. I mean, it's good, good quality, so that one so now we're done with Clinique now we can move on to origins um, don't have do I have do I have some no I do not I was thinking I have some eyeshadows in origins but no this so this would be my first origins um, makeup that I have anyway they had some um, cream eyeshadows that I thought were really pretty that would create a really pretty just wash all over the, the lid to create a base for other shadows or even just as a really light um, look to the eye. And so I got three different ones and they are called, let me these glasses back on, the Ginseng Brightening Cream Eyeshadow All Day Wear. And I got it in three colors. This one here, which is um, Sugar Peach, and it looks like that there. It's very, very pearlescent, very glowy. <laughs> Could possibly even use it as a cheek cream highlighter, maybe. But I had, um, I seen them and I, they just had the little display up. And so I put one on my hand and was looking at it and stuff, but they didn't have a price up on them. And at that point, I wasn't really for sure if I was going to even make a purchase. I kind of like to go in and look everything over and then plan my um, attack. <laughs> anyway, when I put it on, once it dried down, it was... It didn't want to come off with the cleanser that they had there at the store. So that was um, Sugar Peach. And that's what kind of led me to believe that it would make a really pretty um, eyeshadow base to um, put other eyeshadows on top. And then it would help to those hold on and last. And then this one, I think. Oh, oh here they are. <laughs> I say I lost my glasses. This one is... Bam, bam boost, bam boost, and it is definitely. This one would definitely would have to be a eyeshadow, um, not just as an eyeshadow base, but 
I was so impressed with the longevity of this was the first one that I tried on that I just went ahead and got all three colors that they had yeah I thought well why not this is more like a um, taupey um, burgundy color it's really pretty I don't know can y'all trying to see it wants to <laughs> whatever okay so that is that one and then the last one is ginger zing gin zing ginger zing which was is this this one yes and these were normally $14 so then you know the 50% off and this is more of a, a cream colored one and I'll put it next to the um, sugar peach and you can hopefully see that it's a, definitely a little bit more of a um, flesh color than the peach colored one. Anyway, so that those. And then I think we are down to Bobbi Brown. Yes, I did get quite a bit of Bobbi Brown products just because I could I wanted to so first of all I'll start with this little guy here this is the sandy nude eye palette it's what I'm wearing on my eyes and what I created my eye look with today and it looks like this here and what it is is and whoops that's not it here it is it's an eyeshadow palette and you open it up and this little part right here slides out and you've got eight eyeshadows right there just really really pretty um, definitely this one I would use I use this one to kind of deepen up the um, outer edge a little bit and I also use a little bit of it to do the liner with and this one all over the lid or right here on this part anyway I use this today to get this and this has been on this is like um, seven o'clock at night and I put this on at eight o'clock this morning so there you have it and then I got a um, shimmer brick this is the highlighting powder in bronze glow and I didn't wear this today because I forgot about it yeah but that is what it looks like look at that isn't that pretty there was a couple of different bronzy products that she had or that they had and I was going to get all of them and I, I talked myself down. I did. I talked myself down. I was like, you don't need all of them. Pick one. Pick one. And so this is the one that I picked. And that is it right there. So yeah, I thought that was like super pretty. So there we go. Okay, let me clean my hand off a little bit here. And then I did get um, a eyeliner. I love Bobbi Brown's cream eyeliners. The long wear gel eyeliners is what these are called. And I didn't, I have forgot to write down all the ones that I had. I know, and I just said I had that all written down in that book. But I forgot, I was going to do that and I forgot. And so they had several different ones, but I got to thinking, you know, I, I think I have all of those. But this one here, the name just wasn't ringing a bell. I thought, well, I'm gonna take a chance, I'm gonna buy it. And if I have it, then I'll just put it in a giveaway. Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't have it and I'm so glad I bought it. I am so glad. It is the most beautiful brown eyeliner I mean I know it says wine and it does pull a little bit of the burgundy but it is just so pretty I've been wearing it a, like three or four times already so pretty and I love these eyeliners I mean they um, there's enough give to them that you can work with them and get them on but then they dry they set they're there and they look good all day so I like them and I have quite a few I have quite a few of those so I got that one. Let's see, what else did I get? I got, I think we are almost to the end. Yay, how about that? I got some blushes and a couple of single eyeshadows that I did not have already. And I have quite a few um, of the singles. Um, I get a pro discount with Bobbi Brown, but the price at the, out at the CCO was 
a lot cheaper than what my pro discount is. So I thought, well, I'm gonna get what I don't have. So the first one is a metallic eyeshadow in Velvet Plum, which looks like this here. It's so pretty. It doesn't really look plum. I mean, it almost looks like taupe, taupey gray, but it is so pretty. I mean, even swatched, it's more of a taupey gray. But there it is. See, but it's really pretty on. I wore it, when did I wear this? Day before yesterday, I think. Oh, it's so pretty. And then the other one that I got is a sparkle eyeshadow, and this is in Smoky Quartz. Now, her sparkle eyeshadows um, are kind of like the Tom Ford and the Charlotte Tilbury um, sparkle eyeshadows. They're mainly made to be like a topper to go on top of a cream. Um, if you want to get some really good opacity out of it and build up, you're going to have to use it wet. You're going to have to use Fix Plus with it, but... It swatches really pretty, but when you get ready to go use it on the eye, it's going to have to take a little bit of um, build up with it. And you're thinking, well, that went on, you know, pretty opaque there, but my hand is still a little bit damp from the makeup remover wipe. So I think that's why it went on there like that. But anyway, so those were the only two eyeshadows that they had, and they had quite a few. They had just gotten in a shipment, a big shipment of Bobbi Brown so that was the only two that I didn't have already. And then there were some blushes that I didn't have. And this one here, oh my gosh, this is going to be so pretty for fall. And it's called Berry, number 34, Berry. Look, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Here it is, just the middle of July, and I'm already planning what my eyeballs are going to look like this fall. Yeah, I'm so ready for it to get cooled off. And there you go. Definitely a berry color. Ooh, that's going to be so pretty. So pretty. And then, um, actually, and this was a blush too. But, um, pretty pink, number 41. And this one, no. Is it this one? I was trying to remember which one I used this morning as my blush, because I know I used one of these, but that one doesn't look like it has anything gone. I must have used this one. Okay, this one I didn't use. This is pretty pink. And it is a very pretty pink. There you go. I just wonder with um, Bobby, ba Bobby Brown, um, didn't she retire? Isn't she like not doing with the cosmetics anymore? I, mean, I could be wrong. Anyway, I just wonder if that's the case, if it's going to change like the quality and stuff. And then the next one and the last one that I have is Coral Sugar. And it's what I am sporting today as a blush. And it looks like that there. There you go. It looks, it, I know on the camera it's probably, they look a little similar, those top two, but definitely one is, mm, no, they look similar. <laughs> Not going to lie. Yeah, they do. But anyway, I got two of them. One's a little bit darker than the other, I guess. So, okay. Then camera cut me off. How rude. Um, they were doing a little promo where you could pick six samples and a cosmetic case for 10 bucks. So, um, yeah, and that wasn't included in the 50% off. So this is the case that I picked. Um, they only had two different ones to choose from and I felt like this one was probably the most practical. The other one was like really flat. I'm going to give this to my daughter. Um, she can do what she wants with it or she can give it to one of her daughters and they can play with it. But the samples I picked out, some of, I mean, some of the samples was pretty good. There is this little roll here. And what this is, is a bunch of 
from Origins. And first of all, you get a little spray here that you're supposed to spray on your face before you do the mask. And it's supposed to really help enhance your masking ex experience, make your mask work better. And then there's some little foil packets of something here with it. I don't know what. Where's my glasses? Oh, there they are. I mainly got it for that little spray because I wanted to try that. But there's a Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask and the Clear Improvement Arc Active Charcoal Mask to clear pores, which is this gray one. Um, I don't see it. No. So anyway, so, and then the little spray there that you spray on your face first before you do the mask. And it just helps to, it says, take masking to the max. Our priming mist with... Marine Algae Complex optimizes skin for the ultimate mask experience. Give clean skin a quick spritz and lightly pat in and then you do your mask. So, and that was pretty good because there was, was one, two, three, there was five of those in that little roll. So that was one of my samples. That counted as one. And then the next sample that I picked was a little product from La Mer. And in hindsight, I kind of wish I would have picked something different, but I got this one. And this is the La Mer, um, the Brilliance Brightening Essence. So I wanted to try an essence from La Mer. And then at checkouts, you're like, wait, that wasn't all six. No, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna show you those next. Um, she threw in all these little samples of um, Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipstick in the color A45 Envious, which I don't know what color that is. Let me take a little look. I'm assuming that it's a red because that's what's on the little card here, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Yes, it's a red. So anyway, she threw in like three of those. So that's like three days worth of lipstick. And then I picked out this from Bobbi Brown. And this is the um, oh, my stars. The Art Stick Liquid Lip in English Rose. So I thought, well, that would be a good opportunity to try her liquid lip and that looks like a really pretty color for fall too. How does that squeeze? Oh, it just squeezes out. Cool. I mean, there's quite a bit in here for being just a sample. Let me swatch it for you. Yeah, that's pretty, huh? Really pretty. And that is, I mean, there's a lot in that. And then I did pick out um, the eye opening mascara from Bobbi Brown, a little travel size. I'm not going to open that because I have some mascaras that are already opened and I don't want to open that. And then this little pack was in there, this little guy, and this was two products in here. And one of them is a full size um, lip liner from Clinique. And it's the lip liner in the color Intense Cosmo. It's the quick liner for lip for lips. Which is right there. I mean this this right here alone would be ten plus dollars. So I think they're like eighteen dollars. So and then also in there was a little um, sample size of the Lo uh, lip pop, and this is in the color number 13. So I say love, love pop, I do believe. Oh, oh, it opens up. And it's just a lipstick that looks like that. And then the last thing that was in there or that I picked was a lip gloss from Smashbox and I have this on and this is, um, I don't know, I can't make that out. There's too much glare on that and it's a metallic, but it's a metallic red. 
very red and it's just really pretty. As soon as I put this on a little while ago, it made me think of um, Christmas, that color, that metallic red like that for Christmas. Yeah, specifically a Christmas tree ornament. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so that's it. That's the cosmetic portion, this part of the cosmetic portion. I have another cosmetic portion that's going to come up. Yeah, but that one wasn't done at Vegas. It was done prior to Vegas, but it could have been done at Vegas. <laughs> anyway, so that is it. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also the bell icon notification. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you in a couple days. Bye.